for the eyes of the world. Now look into space, to the moon, and to the planets beyond. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, spot a dog. America has launched. You'll be sure we are behind, and we'll be behind for some time in man flight. But we do not intend to stay behind, and in this decade, we shall make up and move ahead. The growth of our science and education will be enriched by new knowledge of our universe and environment, by new techniques of learning and mapping and observation, by new tools and computers for industry, medicine, the home, as well as the school. The exploration of space will go ahead, whether we join in it or not. And it is one of the great adventures of all time. The Futures Foundation Space Group presents a look into the future development of space exploration through the eyes of people born in the 2020s, just in time to see the return of humanity's voyages into the next frontier. What challenges and rewards these people will face depends on what they seek. These people will be pioneers, industrialists, true colonists of the inner solar system, the very force necessary in unlocking riches inside bodies four and a half billion years old. In order to further humanity's bid in interplanetary immortality, the Moon, Mercury, Mars, bodies in the asteroid belt, and even the Sun itself will be sites for massive industry and progress in the coming century. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high costs and hardships, as well as high reward. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer. Our next great push will be beyond the now industrialized asteroid belt, where the gas giants host many solar systems of their own. Jupiter, for example, has everything it needs to turn into an industrial powerhouse of the solar system, with 79 moons and counting. But if you like a place with a little less radiation and more rings, then there is always the queen of the solar system. In her court, the riches are limited only by one's willingness to explore. Humanity's journey will continue outwards, colonial appetites unsatiated with the solar system, leaving us with only one option. Well, we meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear, in an age of both knowledge and ignorance. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. Enormous potential awaits us in the not-so-empty void of the outer solar system. The Kuiper Belt and Oort Cloud beckon us ever onwards. The end of the sun's light marks the beginning of our next great journey. Mighty Neptune, ironically named after the god of the seas, will be our gateway to the cosmic ocean. To be sure, though, it will be centuries before we humans, or our descendants, can embark on our next great journey to places beyond the solar system. The ships we make for this purpose will be far larger than any we've made before, dwarfing most cities in terms of cost and size. They'll require assemblage in orbit around the Moon, Mars, Jupiter, or even Neptune, and will be pushed out of the solar system at unimaginable speeds by huge engines, still lasers, and orbital assists. They will follow the paths of other smaller probes we've sent out into the cosmic ocean to forge our next golden age among the stars. We set sail on this new sea because there is new knowledge to be gained and new rights to be won. And they must be won and used for the progress of all people.